Hi, good morning, it's Bini here on the 19th of October. STR has a little bit of a new development. It gets supported at 3000. And in the weekly chart, we are seeing a potential hammer. So in this video, I like to talk about what is a hammer and then what is the implication of a hammer in the chart and as well as then how do you interpret STI right now. So let's get started. So this is the uh, hammer that I'm talking about. So it's a weekly chart. So at this moment here, uh, if you do see this small little uh, hammer lookalike, pattern so that's a candlestick pattern then this is called a hammer so in this lesson let's talk about how you um, get a hammer what is the meaning of a hammer so a typical hammer candlestick pattern will look like this where on top will be your body and then you have a long tail now this long tail by right it's going to be two times that of the body to be considered a hammer but in reality so it doesn't really happen so i just want to explain to you what is the meaning of a hammer and how hammer is being formed so let's say for example, we have this as the opening price to O here. And uh, if I assume that the opening price opens at a dollar here, one dollar, and because of some bad things, okay, meaning that there's some bearish sentiment, price drop all the way to let's say 20 cents. Okay, so this 20 cents here would be the closing price, uh, rather not closing, would be the low price of the candle here. Now, then subsequently, Let's say another uh, positive news came out during that week and it pushed price all the way above uh, $1 and beyond $1 to close at, let's say, uh, $1.30. Uh, Alright, so uh, with this, what is the implication here? It means that price found a very strong support at the low level here at $0.20. Cents. A lot of buyers are willing to come in to buy and support the price. There's a lot of demand here and the demand right, resulted in a bullish situation, which is even more bullish than what uh, it opened with, all right? So it closed at 130. So in this case, yeah, uh, with the hammer, there are a few implications. Number one, there should be a very strong support at the bottom, meaning that at the bottom, I am going to assume that a good hammer, I repeat, a good hammer would have a very strong support at the bottom, all right? This means that uh, for STI, for this hammer, okay, to be believable, all right, I need to find a very strong support. Now, second, there is a need for price to subsequently close above the highest point of this hammer here. Now, why is that so? Because during the highest point would be the maximum bull, all right, maximum bullish activities of a hammer. All right, I need to make sure that subsequently price can close above the hammer to ensure that there is continuity to that bullishness. Okay, so with this knowledge here, so let's take a look into STI. Number one, is there a lookalike pattern in STI, a weekly pattern in terms of one that fit the hammer? Yes, because right now this is the body of this weekly candle here. And then I, I'm, I'm going to look into the tail. The tail is about two times approximately. I think the answer is yes. Okay, it says that uh, today is Tuesday, the hammer hasn't fully formed yet, and therefore I can't conclude that by the end of the week, that means the close of this weekly bar is going to be a hammer. All right, it might result into, for example, a dodgy, or even it might just close all the way down and to form into some other bearish candlestick pattern. All right, now the second thing we need to have would be the support. Now, is there a reasonable support to tell us that at the low of this hammer, all right, it's a strong support. So I think that the conclusion would be STI near to 3000, it's a very important support. Now, the second would be, for example, STI showing a support along this trend line here by connecting these two points. Okay, so this point here and then this point, STI would have a very strong um, support, it seems to be. All right, now lastly, um, wow, is there any subsequent, subsequent close above the high of the hammer? The answer is no. But um, one key thing to note is that uh, there is a need and, and why I do mark in 3039, this level here, because based on the alien wash, which is the method which I've designed, there is a need to close above the wash line. So the wash line would be this level at 3040. 
okay, 39 to 40. Now, if you're interested to know more about how to create this wash line, so I do have a free modules which I've explained how the wash line has been created. You can go to address uh, here that you found on the screen, all right, to go and attend the uh, free module, okay? Uh, or you can just click into the comment section. You should be able to find the links to the free module already. Now, there is a need to close above 3040, which at this moment, on the day chart we haven't seen that um, uh, priced closing above so if there is no close then I can't conclude that it is a bullish activity for this particular hammer look alike weekly pattern all right then uh, I would have to observe what happened towards the end of the week all right to conclude STI but um, do keep in mind that if STI continue to strengthen then at least for this period we might see a little bit of a uh, rebound in a uh, bearish uh, trend all right, so if you do like this content, do remember to subscribe uh, to my channel because I will be explaining the concept all right, of certain technical concept and certain things that I'm using for trading, especially the Alien Watch, and apply that real time into whatever that I'm seeing here in the uh, chart or any of the instruments I'm trading. All right, if you do enjoy this video, remember to give a thumbs up. Thank you.